Hey guys, Matt with CJ Offroad here. Today, as you can see on the table, we have got a wide variety of Dio Dynamics brand new Stage Series 3 lights on the table. Now, I was really excited to get our hands on them and our friends over at Diode sent us pretty much all that they offer. These lights are absolutely incredible and from what I'm told, they've been working for years on designing these. They feature an eight year warranty from Diode Dynamics as well as the customization to be able to mount them as a spotlight or something on your pillar also to add them as a fog light to your existing bumper. Now we're gonna be installing these on a couple Jeep Wranglers as well as Jeep Gladiators to really show their effectiveness and go over the different models. Now Diode Dynamics offers these in either a sport model or the pro model. When you go from the two, you pretty much double the lumen output as well as the power draw on your system. Now we go everything from a spot, a flood, a driving, and then these are gonna be sort of the fog light style here where they do have the rounded bezel and it's gonna match perfectly. I really like that you can purchase these as a fog light kit, which gives you all the connectors made up to plug right into your vehicle's factory fog light system. Now with that being said, we're gonna dive into one of these individually, show you how to get them installed on our Jeep, so let's get started. So this set of lights from Diode Dynamics is going to be their white sport spotlight configuration. These are gonna mount using a work light style mount that'll allow you with a bracket to mount it pretty much anywhere on your Jeep. They do have 151,000 candela and with each of these lights, you're gonna have over 1,520 lumens coming out of them. I really think that these are gonna be a great light to put up on your pillar and really shine down the road extremely far when you're in off-road scenarios and you wanna see as far as you can. I'm super impressed about the output of this light. 151,000 candela is really insane for this small of a light with as low of a draw that it has. They also have a durable aluminum construction with a black powder coat and these fin pin heat sinks on the back with a Deutsch connector. We're gonna go ahead and remove our front bumper, utilize the fog light mounting brackets and show you just how well these things work. So let's get started. So now we're in front of our 2018 JL, and if you guys have been following along with this build, you know that we never had a stock bumper on here. So what we did today is actually rob this one off of the Gladiator parts that we've been taking off, and it has the factory LEDs, so we just bolted it up there quickly to make sure you guys can get a realization of what this looks like with a factory style bumper. One thing I will mention is that diodes brackets for the fog lights will work with aftermarket bumpers that do have a hole in them and accept a factory style fog light. Definitely check the description on our website to make sure they will fit and also make sure to look for that hole cut out for the fog light. The only thing we need to do to remove this bumper is grab ourselves an 18 millimeter socket and a small extension that way we can get the lower bolts. The top filler piece we do already have removed and honestly we pulled that off a long time ago and I haven't been able to find it. To get that off, you only need to use a trim removal tool. We'll show you a short clip now on how to do that. Just go ahead and pull the center section off first and then go underneath and you'll just pull up and they'll pull out just like that. After you have those lower two pulled off, there's gonna be five along the front of the bumper we need to pull off. You're gonna do the exact same thing. Just use your flathead, get underneath the center piece, pop that out. Then we can pull the cover right up and out of the way. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket as I said before. We're gonna use the extension for the outside of the frame rail and then no extension for the inside. One thing I will remind you of is to remove the factory connection on the passenger side for the fog lights and then the whole thing will move out as one piece. We're just gonna go ahead and do it quick, pull this off over onto the table and we're only doing this so we can show you guys how to remove the fog lights. You can actually access this just by removing a couple of the panels on the back that we'll show you in a little bit but to give you guys a better representation of how to do it, we're gonna pull the whole thing off. Once you have all the nuts removed from the front bumper, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the factory fog light connection. It helps to squeeze the connectors together and then depress on a little bit and it'll pop right out. And we can set these nuts aside and pull the bumper off. You have a table up here and like I said before, you don't need to do all this. Once you see what I do next, you can be able to do it while it's still on the ground and while the bumper is still in your vehicle. So let's pull it off and set it on the table.
So as you can see on both sides, you're gonna have one of these filler panels and you can do this while it's on the ground, but it is easier to see where everything is up here on the table. Go ahead and grab yourself a flathead screwdriver and we can go around the border and remove all of these push pins by pulling the first, the center section out. Or if you do have one of these handy removal tools, you pull the center about halfway out and then you can pull the entire thing out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that the rest of them here. Definitely save these for later. You will be reusing them. Then you have one larger one underneath here holding onto your skid plate, or your air dam as they call it. So what you're gonna do, like you just saw guys, is just slide it out towards you. It does, it does have to pop around this air dam here, but if you just slide it out towards the edge of the vehicle, we now have access to our factory fog light. Once you have your factory fog light exposed, we're gonna first disconnect this electrical plug up top by pushing in on the brown side and it'll pop right out. You can push that to the side. Now the rest of these are gonna be seven millimeter bolts. We've got a seven millimeter socket and we're gonna go ahead and remove them. As you can see, they aren't really on there crazy tight from the factory, so it'll only take a little bit to get them free. After about two turns, you can pretty much do these by hand. Definitely save these screws. You will be reinstalling them with the brand new Diode Dynamics lights. And once you have all the screws removed, you can pull your factory LED or halogen fog light out of its socket. So as you got everything removed out of the bumper, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Diode Dynamics LED spotlight. First thing we wanna do is turn it around, grab our nylon lock nut, and go ahead and set those into place. There's a nice slot there for them, that way you don't need a wrench or anything like that to get them tightened up. All it does is thread on into there. Once you have those installed, we're gonna go ahead and grab our fog light bracket. This is gonna have two of these standoffs that go on the inside, and they're just gonna slide facing towards the front of the vehicle, with these two holes being at the top. Once you have everything on there, go ahead and grab your 532nd Allen key bolt. Start those into both sides. And then with the spotlight, since it's going to be such a concentrated beam, what we're gonna do is not tighten these up completely until we figure out exactly where we want them. And we'll do that once we face it onto the garage wall. Now we'll grab our 532nd Allen key with a ratchet and just get these snugged up. Just like so, we have everything assembled here. We can set it into the factory fog light location. And then utilizing the four seven millimeter screws we previously pulled out, we'll go ahead and get those started. And with those started, we can then tighten them up with our seven millimeter socket, which we've put on a little quarter inch gun to make it go a little bit quicker. Now that all those are tightened down, grab the Diode Dynamics included adapter harness, which is going to plug into the factory connection, make a little clip, you'll know it's in there well, and then we'll grab the Deutsch connection here, plug it into the bottom of the light, you hear a very faint clip. We can tuck this away. We're gonna put this back cover on after we adjust the fog light, get exactly where we want it, but let's throw it on the Jeep. So just as we expected, these spotlights are very controlled and confined into the same area. You can see we're about 10 feet away and it's maybe about the size of the basketball on a wall here. These are gonna be super, super concentrated lights and they will shoot down a very far distance. I'd recommend these if you're in the desert or really wanna go fast and see down the trail as far as you possibly can. These will work too on the pillars and you can get different brackets to make them work on any part of your Jeep besides on the fog light location. Since these are not DOT approved, they don't have the SAE stamp, meaning that you can only run these when you're on the off-road situation or in a scenario where you're not on a highway or any roadway. Well guys, as you just saw on the wall there, these are super concentrated lights that I think would be great for the trail or high speed environments where you really wanna see down the trail as far as possible. Overall, the installation only took about 20 to 30 minutes and it was all plug and play, so you don't need any other parts or any other wiring to make these work on your Jeep Wrangler. 
and we have a halogen Jeep, and I thought the LEDs might cause a little bit of an issue, but after plugging them in, there is no issues at all. There's no flickering or anything like that on the dash, so that means these fit perfectly and they'll work with any configuration Jeep. Now, if you want to check these out, as well as the wide variety of other diode dynamics lights, be sure to visit us at cjponyparts.com. And if you guys want to stay tuned for installations like this, as well as many other cool parts on trucks and Jeeps, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. Now, until next time, guys, we're going to use these lights on the trail, and I'll see you out there. Hope you enjoyed that video. To stay up to date on our CJ Off-Road videos, make sure to subscribe up top here. And for any other installs, make sure to click the link right above.